Welcome back to MapQuest. Welcome back to that episode of the puzzle game in which too long was spent between the last episode and this episode. Sure was. And the people who are playing the game can't quite remember what they were doing. If you're playing along at home with us, tell us what to do. No, this is not a this Twitch. This door is locked. This is not a Twitch chat. This is a recorded video. You no, can't no. help us. You, you have to help us. Just raise up your hands. Raise up your katanas. Maybe you can time travel your advice to what is probably six days in the past. Yeah. No, wait, four days. Four days. See, while we were not playing this, everyone else was training with the blade. It's... Okay, so... Those photoshops there, are there's good. There's gonna have to... Uh, just run like the big coward that you are. Oh yeah, slowly walk like the big coward that you are. That's a big coward. We don't know where we're going. Matt, you're going all the way around. You're going to get back to that elevator. Okay. And you're going to go downstairs to go the downstairs. basement floor. Whoa. Whoa. I Whoa. Whoa. Fuck that nurse. Now that's a moment you would not expect in the Silent Hill, Hill game. Hill game. Dodging gunfire. Yes. Luckily, a new game is coming to fill that need. It's called Death Stranding. <laughs> we're not sure. We're just discussing that earlier. We we're discussing that. So Matt, I can't wait to play that Silent Hill game. Matt was late here by about 15 minutes because like a video error problem, and I just oh, watched yeah. the Death Stranding trailer four times instead, and just of setting up and tried to <laughs> figure it all instead out instead of setting up the recording. Yeah, I was, I was like, okay, maybe he just got here, yeah, or no. maybe he just watched Death Stranding. You just went to the bunch. third basement floor. Well, let's see what's there. You didn't even go to the first basement floor. Let's see what's here first. It's probably know. a big basement. I'm s if it lets me go, I mean, it got explored anywhere. Yeah, that's what you say. Hit the map. I'll hit that map. Holy shit! What? Yep. So You're gonna want to explore that first basement floor first. That first basement floor first. That's correct, because mm. this, this, the basement, second floor, and third floor don't exist. But I'm here. Okay. What is this? Is this a puzzle? There's numbers. It may be a puzzle. Okay. Where's the fucking guy? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Before you get it, let's just look at it first. So, there's oh, some cool wait. people. This, this actually looks really easy. This is some cool people having medieval problems. Bottom bottom right, bottom left, two, middle four, right. Two, four, three, one. Okay. Yeah, just go to the corpses. Wait, is this a... Is this... Yeah, it's a big lock. You'll never be able to unlock it. Okay. <sighs> You'll never be able to unlock uh, it. So, there's these corpse eyes. And they there got, have numbers. They have numbers and 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 the bodies and these got nothing. So yeah. I'm assuming. So what you're gonna do? Seven. No, wait. What four. Are you, what are you doing? Zero six. No, hold on. So it's, it's zero seven. No wait, zero six four. Fucking god, slow down, slow down. Zero, it's seven. zero seven six four. Six four. That Let's would be try it. That. This is one of those puzzles that... And if I have those three numbers, we can just do the yeah. regular thing that we do is just bang our head on See, it. See, much much like... Uh, so, you know in the Omicron Guide, if you've been watching that LP... I have the, not. The Omicron Guide uh, gives you the entire like method yes, to get the yes, solution, yes. like a fuck you, and then just tells you the solution. The Silent Hill guys, unfortunately, did not have that luxury yeah. because uh, due to fuck with people... Yes. They would, uh, they have like to fuck a bunch people. of, they have a bunch of semi random solutions. Sure do. Um, that will fuck with you. I thought that said creamed key. Yeah, big creamed. Yeah, it's because Dusty's Check been here. Check out the creamed key. <laughs> Put the cream into the water. <laughs> it's, I found this in some sort of crematorium underground. It's burnt black, even though it's not. It's clearly gray. But I could okay. use it, I guess. Still usable. All right. So you've completed the puzzle. Go? That would go into some door that we don't know. Maybe that there is a locked door, uh, Leonard. As soon as soon as you finish exploring the other two basement levels, you'll probably find whatever fucking door. Or we can just check our map. Because I got my blood bag. Our friendly handy dandy ready. map. I'm all ready for my. There blood was a blood bag, bag puzzle in the uh, first. Nope. Oh, doesn't go there. What about B one? Nope. 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 Oh, weird. Let's start at start at the bottom, or not the bottom, but whatever. Well, just hit your map, and then you can use the uh, or while you're still in the elevator. Well, because if we've tried a door that's locked, it'll have the little. thing. It'll have the it. little thing. She's saying, "I'm so glad it has that little thing." Oh, I'm so glad I, I I'm able to tell the difference between a broken <laughs> a broken lock 
Okay. Okay. So zoom in on this, and let's let's take a looky looky see. I'm oh, sorry. Oh boy. Zoom in is X. Okay. Well, I see a blocked door down there at the day room. Yeah. That uh, and we can check the other floors too, just hey, to make that's, sure. I've never noticed those uh, in black ink, like scribbling on the side of that wall in the day room. I've never noticed that. Before. Yeah, I think that's uh, black ink. Is this wall doesn't exist? Exist. Okay. And red ink is. Uh, go, Matt. Go. Hope there's not another gunshot. Use your coward powers. Coward powers. Whoa, Nailed that it. was it. We're, we're so smart. Seems like we're smart right now. Yeah. I don't know how smart we'll be in the future. One day in the future we'll I be smart. I have been training. Well, it's time. It's go time now. Oh, oh, fuck you. They have jabs like you. They're like me, but stronger. The nurse is just the Virgil to Alessa. <laughs> The bogey, if you for, will. For some for some reason, I thought you meant WWF virtual. Honestly, like Heather just goes to a con. Oh, meet sweet. Heather from Silent Hill Three. Seven dollars for she, a photo. And she's and she's the one from um, <laughs> she's the version from Shattered Memories, and she's just kind of staring at the floor. Meet with, Harry Mason with, with a fucking number one dad shirt on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meet Harry Mason and his his superstar daughter Heather. So do you remember we came in here, read that diary, and then there was a nurse walking around that you could get to and it couldn't get yeah, to us. Yeah, and then we're on the other side. And now we're on now. the other side. Now okay. we can finally access the first floor. Hmm. A floor that has lots of doors. And shit. We're going shit. What's this? Happy first birthday. Oh, happy H day. You're really going to have to try these doors, Matt. These in nearly impossible to see doors. Awesome. Ah, oh, fucking, fucking, fuck. Hmm. Okay, no, I just need to get past you. And you. There's a lot in here. Yeah. I'm kind of baffled by your total unwillingness to ever use the gun. Well, I guess I can use it now, but... Because I like my katana. I, I understand that. I like it that. good. Huh. But the pistol will help you. I guess. But you need to get a little bit away from these people, because they're mean to you. <laughs> you know what? Oh, I couldn't even see. Ideally, the front door would have been... Oh, well, fuck it. That works. Because I've been hammering you'll X been, on everything. You'll been in an even better place now. Oh. Okay. All right, let's check your health, because holy shit. Man, it's such a good rumble on the, con on the controller for that. I think rumble's getting weaker over time. Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. I had a moment, like, not too long ago where I was thinking about rumble. I was like, man, I remember that the news stories about people getting in, tr like, like... Trouble? Yeah, people getting in trouble because of the... Oh, wow, that's really lucky. Uh, people huh. getting into the trouble because of, uh, you know, their parents would catch them playing DualShock games on their genitals, right? I didn't do that. Uh, I didn't do that either. No, I didn't do it. Nope. Nope. Um, Continue. And I was like, wow. And then I played a Metal Gear Solid game or whatever. And I was like... The, the, this is the game that'll cause in, me to do this. In now. the high rumble areas, it's really strong. It's like the yeah. Rattler. Um, <laughs> but... And now in the modern games, Didn't I really barely happen. remember... I barely notice rumble at all, even if it is there. It's, it's weird. Lost memories. One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is the is that of the ritual sacrifice. Ah, uh, the good old days. Good old days. Offering prayers, pierce a man's chest with a copper stake, drench the altar in blood uh, which spouts red from the heart to praise and to show loyalty unto God. God likes that. He, he does. <laughs> in another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. Huh. Wonder what town likes that ritual. <laughs> Raccoon City. This was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Lucky. Similar to burning at the stake. No comparable rite can be found in religions practiced nearby. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. That sucks. If I have to worship a sun god, it's like, we have to die how? In one of the worst ways possible? <laughs> Got it. Okay. Even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. So that's just talking about the cult, huh? Yeah, that's talking about the cult, man. I'm just Bad. Talking about cults. So I have a blood bag. You sure That's good. do. Anything else in here? You also have a fucking sick altar. Cool. I guess I'll I'll dump the blood, I suppose. Nothing in here, though? Yeah, let's just dump the blood. Or her head kind of snapped over here, but I assume it's because of the door. Yeah. 
those those other uh, uh, they're kind of otherworldly, but I don't mean like that, like other world. But you kind of are in one. I'll say but her. those those bits where uh, the fucking walls are going nuts, they're yeah. hard to see. That it's not like it's a cool effect. Don't get me wrong. But I'm like kind of like yeah. It's Re- not. Removed from the from the time in which that was the most bleeding edge, literally Tech, and yeah. figuratively. <laughs> um, tech imaginable on the ps2 and it was blowing your fucking mind that the walls are bleeding but it's also so dark it's even hard it, to appreciate it causes a, a like a minor visibility a stretcher here not, not just your usual stretcher match this is more like the altar of some sort oh the candle's knife and is that blood do they worship that picture or something in, in the, the picture oh, all this, right just okay. just dump some blood man just, 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 just it's, blood it's, it up it's, it's a good I'm, thing i got a blood bag yeah plastic bag with blood. with blood. Featuring blood. Okay, just... just. Okay, uh, so I... Okay. You just kind of dumped, dumped it. All right. Hey, look, it's not a picture. Like you want it. Mm, it is. It's not. Oh, well, then don't worry. You don't have to explore the rest of the first floor. Okay. Because you just kind of altered the state of reality. But that's fine. I tend to do that. I'm going to assume this is boss time. It feels like it because the first boss was going down a long set of stairs. And then the second boss was going up a long set of... Uh, to get to the roof. Yes, yeah, uh, stair escape. So, so what? I don't know. Shoot, bang, your gun, gun. Okay, let's let's look at my, my ammo. So I only have three shotgun shells in reserve and like six in the chamber I have 96 handgun bullets maybe I can just do that but uh let's go with handgun for now I guess I can't find the stupid sign of the little guy oh, well, I think that? it's in the other room well maybe we'll take I'll a strategic pause I'll just have to use my memories which have proven not to be as razor sharp as you remember them <laughs> well, listen, listen man I'm not old. People people were happy to tell us that we could have gone into a bar in Silent Hill and gotten some items. I'm 30 years old. <laughs> You're like 40, right? Yeah, I'm like 56. Yeah. Shit, you look good. I always send my <laughs> sister a a birthday card that says, like, you're 50. Every year? Every year. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Heather? Yeah? Leonard, where are you? Thank you. Now I can finally leave here. Now Claudia's ridiculous dream is over. What? Well, I guess it's time to dispose of her. The salvation of all mankind. Huh. Why must we reward even the unbelievers? What are you talking about? About our plans, of course. It's true that God is merciful. But first, one must be chosen. Only we, who hearken to the voice of God, will be given the keys to paradise. Don't you think so, Heather? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and think whatever you want. What do you mean by that? I mean that I don't think the way you guys do. I don't want any part of that kind of paradise. You're an unbeliever. You deceived me. I didn't deceive you. We were both just wrong about each other. I thought you were a normal person. So you tried to trick me so you can run off with my seal, eh? Heretic! You plan to destroy God! I told you I wasn't trying to trick anyone. What is this seal thing anyway? Don't play innocent. The seal is mine! 
I was appointed by God to be its guardian. The only thing you will get from me is a gruesome death. Okay, so, like, thinking back, that may be the only time I'm familiar with in which a Silent Jesus. Hill character is not scared of a boss. And the boss is super scary! Yeah. Like, like it's the only one I can think of. It's super fucking weird. Are you shooting at anything? No, there's he's, he's right there a second ago. Yeah, and he kind of swims in there. If he's not in your vision, don't bother because like he does all sorts of weird shit and, okay. and more or less disappears. So this is really weird. This creature has like a voice, and he was screaming while, like, it was a monster voice, but still talking. Yeah. And I'm kind of confused. Don't worry about it. So the, the okay, so Silent Hill One is like monsters, right? Yeah. And they're dream monsters, and that's weird. Right? Sure, sure, sure do. Silent Hill 2 plays upon the idea that, um, like, what you're seeing, your or the monsters or whatever, are being, like, altered to fit your perspective. I guess. Right? And Silent Hill 3 is starting to blur that line even further, in which it's like, some of these monsters are acting and talking like normal fucking yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. And it's kind of odd. And other people are looking at what are clearly monsters and just chatting with them but, and, but and shit. The first boss was the weird... You probably like, got tons of damage. ...dick worm. And the second one was just like a... It's like a big weird dick worm. Well, he was just the, the missionary guy. He was just a stupid baghead guy. But like... Um, yeah. This guy is kind of different. Yeah. So it's sort of weird. Oh, wow. Just went from fucking... And Damage to the, full in one. With a health drink. That's crazy. Leonard's a dick. I... Th I Played I, by I, Malcolm McDowell in the I, feature film. Oh, God. To be fair, this this kind of character, Malcolm McDowell, is a great pick. Right? Like, religious zealot old man kind of thing. Yeah. I like... I really like his design. I don't know, it just kind of looks like a big zombie. It's, like. it's, it's mummified, it's like the tongue is coming at the side of the head. Uh, it looks real ancient. There's weird, like, time scratches carved into the his arm. time arms. scratches! And he has weird breathing stuff out of his back. Uh, yeah, that, that was kind of cool. Like, he's super weird. Man, oh. I'm fucking slow as shit in this water. Oh, yeah. And with my uh, cool tactical scientist vest. Yeah, that's correct. He, but he's so fast. You'll never he's defeat very him now. fast. I remember when I first fought this fight, I thought, like, how am I going to just... Like, I thought the goal was to kick him or push into him those spinning into blade the blades. And, and it's like, that's not very Silent Hill, I guess. It's not, but this... I kind of find all these bot like... Not to say they're they're terrible, but these aren't super amazing boss fights so far. Like not none of them that we've done. Mm -hmm. Not that I think that's a big Silent Hill thing. The Silent Hill boss thing is more about like their design and yeah. what they mean. Well, yeah, all that than, stuff. Like, <laughs> really awesome mechanics. Like Silent Hill Two has multiple fights of Pyramid Head that are unwinnable, which is cool. And then the penultimate one, if you haven't watched oh, our uh, right there. Silent Hill uh, 2 LP, it's a slight spoiler, but, like, Pyramid Head gives up and kills himself. Well, yeah, because he's a quitter. Yeah, he's a huge quitter. It's like he's kind of like the reverse John Cena. Yeah. Or the real John Cena. <laughs> or he could be like the real John Cena. It's, it's conceivable. Come on, Leather. I, I like... It's, I don't know if I like it actually. It's a really Japanese trope of you're here to take my thing, mi my big item. Yeah. And, then the, and, then the, and then the person goes, yeah. I don't no, what? know what that is. And the response is, don't play dumb with me. 
Clearly you're here for the big item. It's very Alfred Ashford as well. That's like, oh, Claire, I don't care. <laughs> no, you're here to stop Ash. my Alexia cosplay. <laughs> no. Who? You know? Isn't she dead? And, like, is he supposed to be blind? This kind of reminds me a little bit of Nosferatu fight. Honestly, I think he is supposed to be blind. But he knows where I am. I think that's because you're running through the water all the time. Oh. Oh, shit. Whoa, boy. Kind of went by me, I think. Oh, but hey. Music's cool. Or, or Music's always cool, man. Oh, you got him. I think that's it. Yeah. See, that wasn't the most... Yeah. Definitely not that difficult. It's fine. He's got weird cracks in his head. And he's bloated and has... He looks like he's made out of cysts. He doesn't have a fucking mouth. Yeah. Well, it kind of comes out the side. Oh. Okay. He's, he's talking with his inside voice. Yeah. Voices on the inside. Something like that. This is one of my favorite details ever. Even though you wake up in the... <sighs> Hospital. Hospital, which is the appears to be the normal hospital. Yeah. It's still way fucked up compared <laughs> to the one that uh, James found. Mm. Guess I should head back to the motel now. <laughs> <sighs> well, hope Douglas is okay. Huh? My big item. You've discovered my big What's item. What's this? It's the mark of Samael. Just that's the end of that chapter. Remember, uh, I remember reading up. Uh, you can check that talisman yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember reading up a little bit about like the mark of Samael and all that. Um, and the the whole point of that, I defeated like the basically they were going over. It's like way too many people took like Dahlia's obvious lies at face value. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Because like the whole the whole point. Oh, okay, roll all the way back here. The whole point, right, is that uh, she's like, LS is spreading the mark of Samael and, and fucking up Silent Hill, right? What a bit, what a dick! But those are actually like seals to prevent that, mm. right? Yeah. Um, and no, shit. don't get rid of those. Those are those are seals. And that the name Samael is like a complete fucking fabrication mm. that means nothing. Well, it's a cool demon name. Yeah, it's one of my favorite demon names. Because people call, you know, people call the, the... Is it warping me out of the hospital? I believe it is. Well, it usually has that creepy texture, PS2 loading textures thing. Yeah, or is it so... Oh, th <laughs> wow, dude. Again. It keeps happening. It keeps happening. Because it was like, because sound is playing. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, but I was like, what? Okay, so we want to actually just leave. So yeah. I guess it's all the way down there in the kitchen. Uh, or all up. the way down to the right. And, that, and then the take right a left. left. Okay. Yeah. And then you can big leave. Because they got the big item. Yeah, big item. Hey, so, hey dog, let's check out my big item. So it's kind of like um, um, what you were saying about a Silent Hill Protagone that is like, this is all stupid and you guys are idiots. Yeah. I just kind of want to get revenge. Yeah. And that's about it. Where So like... Uh, and even then I might give up. Harry... Let's let's put aside the fact that in in the PS1 era there was there was a lot less voice acting and and yes. cutscenes overall, right? Mm -hmm. But Harry had a ticking clock element to his quest, yeah, which well, was my daughter is missing. Fuck why you. Why did you send her to my father? Was that wrong? It's your fault that he. Oh, but surely it's a good thing. Uh, it means he was one of God's beloved. No. Who mock God will never receive salvation. You'll go to hell, Vincent. You'll never feel the joy of God's everlasting paradise. And you think God is going to save you? Ha! Huh. What do you know anyway? I know about the pleasures of this world. And I want to find my happiness while I'm still here. You hated your father, didn't you? 
I saw the way he hit you. Kicked you and made you cry. <sighs> the memory of his cruelty is forever burned into my mind. Yes, yes, and that's why we need God. What you call faith is nothing more than a child. Crying out for love. That's why you're all alone. You don't understand. None of you do. I sure don't. What the fuck was I talking about? Um, I completely forgot. Um, uh, Harry had a ticking clock. Th Cutscene, yeah. right? Um, but we don't. It's ha like. Ha like Harry's like okay I have to take you all seriously because magic and my daughter right whereas Heather is like oh Jesus you are all fucking nuts maybe we can go to that thing now what, what thing uh, Heaven's Night is apparently open and it's got like it is yeah well that's let's what check it saying. out uh, it has some items in it and Ooh, shit let's check that out Right, sure. I love so I love Vincent. I think Vincent's fucking great. He's cool, and he's a great foil to what Claudia. A, what a great as character. a member of the cult, a member of the order, right? Who is like, this is real. Like I obviously believe in this because yeah, this yeah. stuff is all super real. It's super real, yeah. but it sucks. And and his line there, she's like, well, what do you know? And he's like, well, I know that I like HD porn on tablets. Which is something I can only get. I like hamburgers here. and and you know fries and and cheesy tots. Now at Burger King. I went to see. Fuck uh, all you. I went to see Avatar in theaters. It was pretty good. <laughs> that's that's amazing. When like a cult or like a supernatural thing, a guys like, yeah, this is cool. I guess. You wanted to go to Heaven's Night? Yeah. Well, but I, I assume I have to go up there. Oh the yeah. Main sorry, Avenue I, mean, I misread the, the song. Uh, and and he's just like, but. But like cheese tots. Uh, I really like Claudia as well because that cutscene shows off. Like, listen, Harry Mason dealt with Jay uh, with uh, not Jay Kaufman. Jesus Christ, Jay Kaufman. Yeah, yeah, he made music. Made, made great music for some. I know. Um, oh, well, you got flipped up, turned upside down. You know, Cameron you went, dealt with a Doctor Kaufman, who was a shit and was involved in the cult. You're dealing with Dahlia Gillespie, the the fucking matron of the cult at yeah. the time, etc. You're dealing with the heavy hitters, right? Down here? Uh, a little no, bit further. You're dealing with the heavy hitters, right? Yeah, the big, big hits. In Silent Hill 3... Fuck. We'll try going through the parking lot. Yeah, maybe. Because if I remember, you got to Heaven's Night originally through the, the, through the Bolorama. In Silent Hill 2, anyway. Um, and you might be able to go uh, into Heaven's Night from the back, which was the other path. You know, when you're out here, you might as well take that goddamn uh, vest off so we can move yeah, faster. Yeah, you know what? Not even... When you're not in the hard combat areas. Because I can just avoid almost all the enemies. Yeah. So, uh, and you're, you're going to be like, oh, God. Let me see how fast, much faster I am. Definitely. Definitely. Now I can definitely see the difference between us. Yeah, go around the back. So no one knows I was there. Yeah, thanks, Bless. Or whoever. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you thank Bless? Yeah, how dare I thank Bless? Really? <laughs> yes. Cool. Keep going. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. To left, 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 left. Yeah, yeah. Find, find the wall on the coward. Oh, that's the little uh, path that uh, Maria went through. But it's boarded up now. Oh. No. Unfortunately, you'll have to go all the way around. So, uh, exit out of this parking lot, like go all the way back to the street. Yeah, but I can. Yeah, you can. You can go all the way back out to the street. No, I can, but I can't. I can't get to Heaven's Night then, because it said I can't go that way. No, no, anymore. Matt, listen to me. Unless the conditions open. Go all the way back out uh, to the street. Because you can't get in through Heaven's Night through the door that you went in in Silent Hill 2, but you can get in through the way you went out in Silent Hill 2. Okay. If you which so. was the shortcut to the hospital. Okay. If you you fall and if no we, no I do and if we can't then we can't well you know, like unfortunate if, if some and then cool people items. are massive flyers so take a right that. take a big right yeah 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 more right yeah now just fuck this wall just this fuck, one yeah this fuck just fuck this wall I'm I got in trouble the last whole wall time. huh yeah 
I like that Silent Hill has, that guy. has weird, normal murals. Very normal, but that's kind of what makes it creepy, you know? Like, the, the only reason I call them weird is because they're in Silent Hill. Oh, it's the Bolorama. It's the Bolorama, like, graffiti that they have. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, like... Yeah.